Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I just wanted to do a sit down video where I just talk about uh, a lot of things that has just been running at the top of my head and I just wanted to like bring it all out. So this is me here with my chai and uh, enjoy. It's 2024 finally and uh, it's been so weird for me because it's already 2024 you know and 2023 has just been so different for me in so many ways like I started the year off by going to Goa which is very that too with friends. That too with friends and uh, that was very uh, new for me because my parents are like pretty strict and uh, it was very I thought it would be hard to convince them but it somehow happened and I'm very grateful for that uh, so the year like started off with a bang and then later on I had joined for an internship for around uh, 2.5 months and uh, I did pretty okay but I feel like now that I look back I feel like I could have done a lot better but um, I just at that point it was very difficult for me to uh, you know like pick up all the technologies and learn and implement it at the same time it was pretty uh, hard for me and I was also alone there, you know, everyone was seniors there and I was the only intern there who uh, was figuring it out and it was pretty hard for me but somehow I finished it and uh, after that uh, I was ending my college days, I was in my 8th sem when I had done my internship and it was pretty okay, the internship and later on uh, after my internship had gotten over i had only two days of college which means you know obviously a lot of us the remaining days are pretty peaceful and we had only two subjects uh, so me and my friends used to hang out and you know i used to spend my weekdays mostly doing time pass to be very honest uh, which now i kind of regret but um, it is what it is and uh, Fridays and Saturdays we had college and that too like what four hours of class per day that's all so it was like a dream come true for college students who didn't have to bunk bunk classes to you know go out and have fun so that was there and then uh, with in in just a span of I don't know so soon my college had gotten over and I had around um, two to three months of a break in between before my office started so that was a very um, weird a different sort of uh, situation for me because I tried my best to do everything I can to explore new things to attend dance workshops to attend theater workshops to to go out there socialize meet people and although I to be honest I wasn't a hundred percent in that but I did try something and uh, I did learn something from there so that was um, good for me that was pretty good for me and later on my around August I, I think August 16th my office started and uh, it was so scary the first few weeks I guess the first one month two months it was pretty scary like each day you're going you're like what if I get kicked out? What if they don't like my work? What if this happens, that happens? There are so many uh, thoughts you, and you, you get responsible for your actions suddenly and you don't get to bunk classes or you don't get to, you know, the corporate grind. So that happened and it's been almost more than four months since I had joined corporate and um, I'm doing okay, I guess. I mean, uh, I still have a long way to go to become that corporate girly, like, you know, full-fledged corporate uh, girl. But uh, yeah, I'm in the process of learning and I've learned a lot of things the past four or five months in office, you know, socializing, meeting new people, communicating 
uh, new people with new people and uh, it's just been so different for me you know like i think um uh, never in my life have i met so many new people in such a short span of time you know usually i take a lot of time to uh, communicate with people and learn and uh, you know become comfortable with them but this time in office i don't know what happened i wasn't really trying trying i was just there being myself and i was happy with talking not talking with people i wasn't really concerned about you know socializing or being out there you know uh, being that extrovert girl because i just gave up you know i tried so hard in college and i miserably failed and one thing i learned from that experience was that you shouldn't try too much you know of course you can i mean try but like should not you know be too desperate for something uh way too much you know so uh, this time i was just like you know i don't care i'm going to talk but that's it i'm not going to you know sit and overthink about how i spoke to this person or you know all of that nonsense so i was just there being on my own and somehow it all worked out i mean i still have a long way to go to properly socialize and be out there i mean i know that introverts can uh, understand what i'm trying to say uh, it just you know takes time for us to to just go out there and be yourself to any stranger it's very hard it's very hard and i'm still learning i still Uh, i have come a long way i still know that i have a long way to go but i'm glad where i am today in terms of uh, you know talking and meeting up people and not being too nervous and not overthinking about how you spoke and what they think about you uh, so that's what i have learned in office uh, so far and um, yeah i mean um, but there's a lot of the other things that i have learned in office and some of the things are you know in college you see someone as cool only when they are popular they have the cool friends and they go, they go out partying have fun and all of that makes you cool but once you enter the workplace not just corporate anything none of those matters the only thing that matters is how confident you are as a person and the most important thing is the skills you know no matter what you do you should be confident in what you are doing and that's when i realized that all this college nonsense it's it's bakwas you know to be very honest you know thinking that a person is cool just because the of the way he or she dresses or um with whom he talks the contacts does not matter as long as you have the required skills and you're good at your job and you're confident about your job you're confident about the work you do and you know exactly what you're doing in your work you will have respect if you don't have that no matter how well you dress no matter how well spoken you are no matter how confident you are as a person in general you will not get that respect if you do not you know perform well at your work that's what i have realized and suddenly it felt like all my life was a lie you know because i was all of this time i was like you know i have to buy this clothes i have to you know dress a certain way i have to you know uh, you know constantly sort of uh, like seeking validation from outside uh, especially only physically mostly and uh, i realized that that's not the case in real world you know that's just just the college high school wala phase once you're past that and once you enter the workplace anywhere be it your self employed be it your working in corporate be it your working in any sort of creative field whatever it is your work will only speak for you if you want to grow in your job you know nothing else matters i mean of course there are exceptions uh, which is uh, not good but uh, yeah you should be pretty good at what you do and that's what i've learned in uh, my office because nobody cares about uh, the way you dress or uh, how good your english is nobody cares so that's what i have learned so yeah 2023 was quite a roller coaster for me in many ways and uh, it was the first year i've done an internship like i said uh, the first time i'd worked uh, i graduated college and i'm finally here 
and uh, although this is not exactly what i want want like i mean of course you all have so many dreams right but still i'm very grateful for um, where i am right now because it's all the hard work and everything finally there you know you're like re- there working you're like dreaming about uh, <clears throat> your job and you know where you're going to work and you're finally there it's sort of a uh, a proud moment so yeah that was uh, 2023 for me uh, a lot of ups and downs uh, although i didn't mention everything but yeah that's pretty much it and uh, i hope that 2023 goes good for all of you guys and i hope your 2023 was good and i hope that uh, you are able to achieve what you want this year and i hope that um, i am able to achieve what i want this year and uh, yeah so thank you so much for uh, watching this video if you have come till here and if you've had the patience to stay till here i am very grateful for you and uh, Yeah thank you so much for watching my uh, YouTube video and I hope that I'm able to you know give you some education entertainment anything that uh, you want and uh, I hope that we can stay commun- uh, connected I hope that we can stay uh, stay connected and uh, yeah see you in my next video